This is Boxing Talk 8576. I just got down watching a really good fight between Sadim Ali and Luis Abregu. It was a um, slow fight in the beginning. Uh, I gave a couple, the first couple of rounds to uh, Ali for, you know, boxing, you know, effectively using his jab. Uh, Abregu, he really wasn't doing anything with following Ali around. Uh, I say about round three, Abregu landed some really good power shots. I gave that round to uh, Abregu. Um, and then in round six, Ali landed a perfectly good lead right hand and put Abergu down on the canvas. Uh, so I gave, uh, uh, Ali that round in round seven and eight. I thought, uh, Abergu fought, uh, you know, try to come back, uh, try to show that he was still in the fight. Uh, I gave round eight to Abergu round seven was kind of a toss up. Um, round nine, they was exchanging punches, uh, power shots, and Ali, he he got the best of the exchanges. He landed a, a nice, nice power shot, looked like a hook, and uh, it looked like a left hook, and it uh, backed Abergu off of him. He seemed to hurt Abergu. Abergu legs was not the same after that. It didn't look like to me, and. They both landed, uh, was landing hard shots throughout the round. Uh, Ali landed a nice counter punch. He, he, he was landing counter punches, really good counter punches all night. And he landed some nice power shots and um, uh, put uh, Abergu down again and just, um, you know, finished him off with some other power shots that Abergu got up. But um, good win for uh, Saddam Ali. Uh, I remember seeing him a couple times. Uh, his career has been going, you know, kind of slow. He was in the 2008 Olympics. I remember seeing him in the Olympics. Uh, he, I, uh, they, I guess they say he was promoting himself. Uh, you know, that's probably why his career was going slow and moving at a slow pace. I think he has a promoter now. Um, he, he looked very, really, really, really solid in there. I thought he was moving around the ring a little bit too much, a little fidgety on his feet, but... I guess that was part of his game plan to, to uh, get, stay away from um, Abergu power in the beginning and um, go to the later rounds and just pick it up as the fight go on. Uh, he followed a game plan that he, his trainer seemed to have for him. Uh, he's a really, really solid fighter. He's at 147. Man, his 147-pound division is heating up. We have another player in there. Uh, we'll see if, what Abergu can do, see if he can come back. But uh, Ali, he seems to be... A, a, a player now, a player in that um, division. It'd be some good fights I would like to see him in. Um, y'all tell me what y'all think about uh, Ali and, and what's next for him. This is Boxing Talk 8576. I'm out.